Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys to Ride. Today, Rob and I are here at the Iola Car Show. And we are here with our good friend, Randy. Randy, how you doing? I'm doing good so far, thank you. <laughs> All right, so what do we have behind us? This is a 1959 Dodge Sierra Custom Spectator Wagon. Oof, that's a long title. That's it. That's it. It's on my shirt. <laughs> it's a good thing because then I can remember it. So um, now all of your cars have a little story, right? So oh, yeah. where where did you pick this one up? I got this in Kansas City. It was on a website called Bring a Trailer, which is an auction website. And I just saw the picture and I fell in love with the car. I just think it's the cutest car. And I just had to have it. It's an addiction that I have, yes. you know. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this would be like the, oh uh, the, the at the auction oh you were God. at where oh. you hey. bought a car, but you weren't. I'm sure. interrupting. Oh. I'm interrupting. Oh. Have you seen yeah. this thing? <laughs> I have. This is super cool. I know you're not the owner because I know you don't want to sell it. Only because he's got 59 Dodge on his. Well, name. I'm not the owner, but I can this, tell it to you. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> you know, you got to tell the story. Is in the back seat. It's facing the wrong way. Right. And I know that's not OSHA approved. I know that's not AAA approved because that would never last today. Right. But as a kid growing up, I know I flew out of a lot of those back windows because of that. So a very rare back seat. And you know what else that's good for? Is when the kids are misbehaving, you put them in that back seat, roll down the window, and the exhaust fumes come right up and right inside the there car. You go. And when they breathe enough of it, they fall asleep. And I then love it. And I then love it. You, you know, that's how we grew up. We grew Hair up with those seat ear. belts. Yes, right. We grew up. See, and most kids don't know what this is. Look. Yeah. You know what that is? That's because the driver had to lean forward to move the seat so you can get in the back seat. There you go. Kids yeah. nowadays don't know that. <laughs> this is a beautiful car. Thank you. I love this. I love, you know, the white walls, the flipper cats. Yeah. I'm a, a diehard for wagons. Yeah. So, you know, when I saw this thing across the field and I walked over to it, I just had to talk to you about it. I mean, you just do not see everybody does convertibles, everybody does hard tops. But wagons are really rare, except for especially with the back seat. That's yeah. just Super cool how that is. The tailgate falls down. Now, on the tailgate, it does say something about that back seat. Yeah, uh, yeah. They call it the observation lounge. It's in the lounge. It's in the literature that I have in the back, uh, where that was Chrysler's description. Is that that was the observation lounge? Now, on the on the uh, the emblem on the on the uh, tailgate, it calls it uh, spectator wagon. So that's where the spectators sit, I nice, guess. Nice. Now, did you see the swivel seats in I here? I did too? see the swivel seats. Yeah. That's you turn around, the passenger looks the other way and has a conversation. Well, that was touted by Chrysler as so a lady could maintain her dignity during ingress and egress. <laughs> now, that just super so happens, cool. I have a friend that is a little overweight. I call him a plus size gentleman. And it works really well for him getting in out of the car too. Nice, a friend. Nice. I'm sp a friend. speaking. Yeah. For him. I heard that, Randy. Yeah. Yeah. He's speaking for you. Know, I, I, you know what I call this? This is the early version of child ejection seats. Is that what that is? Well, if you swivel it just right, you can knock them out the door. See, look at that. See, and these custom guys in the '50s with swivel seats, seats thought they were the originators. No, yeah. we've been doing this way before that. This is an awesome piece of art. I like it because it's so Art Deco. The dash is beautiful. The colors that they picked is amazing. I mean, you can't ask for anything better. I mean, there's a lot of pride, a lot of thought process in building something like this from the manufacturer. You really don't have to customize it. You don't have to chop it. You don't have to lower it down. No. Something like this is just it's there. It's it beautiful. The colors, how they mix a little bit of chrome with stainless, aluminum, and, you know, and uh, the gold. Love that. I don't know if I'd put my luggage on the roof, though. That'd be the only thing I'd be a little questionable about. We got to talk a little about the wheel covers, too. Yes. I, I think those are the most beautiful wheel covers anybody made for any car in all of history. Oh, totally agree. And it's, they call that a Lantra, am I not mistaken, right? Uh, yes, that's yes, right. Yes, that's yeah. a Lantra cap. Yeah. Now, us custom guys would always take that, add flipper blades to it, like off of a, an old Fiesta or something like that, right. a big center bullet. So I'm the guy that drilled holes in that hubcap. <laughs> But thank you for sharing. This is amazing. I'm not more. We've got so much to do, so much to see. I thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing about your car. It's a beautiful car. And we've got to go. We've got so much more to see. We're at the Iola Car Show in Wisconsin. I'm in Wisconsin. We are in Wisconsin. It's, it's hot out here. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, yeah. you got to come back in, a, in another couple yeah. months. No, or no, I'm like good. another couple weeks. No, I'm good. Von Hot Rod. And folks, this is Nathan and Rob with Two Guys to Ride. Thanks for watching. We're out.